didn't know you were here. Do you know that song? That's Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's about Mary who has a little lamb. Little lamb, little lamb. And she takes it to school and that's not where a lamb belongs, but do you know what a lamb is? A lamb is a young sheep. You know, sheep are really cute animals and we see them a lot in churches and Christmas time and nativity stories. But do you know much about sheep? I know someone who knows a lot about sheep. I'm gonna let you see a little information from him right now. What does a sheep say? <laughs> I'm so proud of him. That kid's going places. But beyond that, do you know where else we can learn about sheep? This old book right here. This is the Bible. And we've got lots of stories and lots of times where it talks about sheep, but I'm gonna tell you about a certain time from John chapter 10, verses 11 through 18. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. A hired hand will run when he sees a wolf coming. He will abandon the sheep because they don't belong to him and he isn't their shepherd. And so the wolf attacks them and scatters the flock. The hired hand runs away because he's working only for the money and doesn't really care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own sheep and they know me. Just as my father knows me and I know the father, so I sacrifice my life for the sheep. I have other sheep too that are not in the sheepfold. I must bring them also. They will listen to my voice and there will be one flock with one shepherd. The father loves me because I sacrifice my life so I may take it back again. No one can take my life from me. I sacrifice it voluntarily for I have the authority to lay it down when I want to and also to take it up again. For this is what my father has commanded. That has a lot to say about sheep and shepherds, right? Jesus has said those words and he's saying that he is the good shepherd, but what is a shepherd and why do sheep need them? Well, in nature, sheep are fearful and they base their decisions on the safety level of an activity. If it's too unsafe, they won't do it because they're more susceptible to predators than other animals. They don't fight them off and uh, dangers are scarier to them than they would be to something like, let's say a lion or something like that. And needless to say, they're also not the smartest animals in the world. So that can lead them to get into lots of trouble. But with all this, why do sheep need a shepherd? Why do humans have to step in and take the burdens that the sheep can't handle for themselves. Well, like we said, they're susceptible to predators. So protection from predators is one of the main things that sheep need shepherds for. They can't defend themselves. And if they find themselves in a predicament, they're more likely to just run away versus trying to defend themselves in any way. Also, they tend to wander off if they're not kept together. So you know, mentioning before that they're not the smartest animals around. If you have a group of sheep and one decides to wander off, the rest of them are gonna follow blindly, even if the first one walks right off a cliff. They'll all follow and, you know, that ends their lives much quicker than it would have been if a shepherd was there to guide them away from that cliff. If you ever see sheep in nature without a shepherd, most of the time you notice their wool is overgrown it becomes matted, dirty, heavy, and infected with parasites, uh, which can then infect the sheep themselves with bugs and diseases that will cause their lives to be reduced. They, they can't survive long without a shepherd to keep them clean. Also, their hooves will kind of grow over and uh, make it harder for them to move around so they're not as able to go places. So with all that, what does it take to be a good shepherd? And, why is Jesus that good shepherd for us? A shepherd should be physically strong. They should be in shape because with sheep wandering all over the place, it's very common that the job requires walking and a lot of times running. They have to be strong and able to pick up a sheep every once in a while when the sheep gets too far and can't fend for itself. So to get it back to the flock, they may pick them up and carry them. 
they have to have the ability to work in adverse weather conditions because sheep don't take a day off. There's, they're always needing care, and even if it's thunderstorming outside, the shepherd has to be there ready to fight for the sheep. They have to be capable of making tough decisions because sheep can't do that for themselves. And sometimes they get themselves in a predicament that may cause the shepherd to have to make a difficult decision about that sheep's life. And uh, if the shepherd isn't emotionally prepared for that, it could be a problem for both of them. And last but not least, shepherds need extreme patience because as we said earlier, with sheep not being the smartest animals around, they're very t uh, capable of repeating the same dumb problems over and over and over again that then they need rescuing from each time. So all of those traits sound like a good shepherd, but also if we look back on that, what we talked about with sheep and shepherds, that's very, very closely related to what we are as Christians and what Jesus is as our shepherd. So uh, with that being said, I hope you were able to take what we talked about and relate that to your own life and just be thankful that we have a shepherd who is strong and emotionally together so that he can make those decisions for us and that he can guide us where we need to go.